Hello guys, this is Matt Up, and in this set of tutorials series, I will show you how to use MySQL in your VB.NET or Visual Basic application. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is we have to download a library, sorry, a component from which we can add mysql in our vb.net application okay so let's start open your web browser and google dot net connector and click the first link and then click msi and click the download and click no thanks and just choose a server and install it okay so after you have installed it and if you're running Visual Studio you need to restart it okay so after restarting let's continue close this one out and we need another thing okay I forgot to mention the thing we need is a WAM server okay just Google WAM server and click the first link and download it okay by clicking the pro proper operating system okay so after you have installed it Let's continue. Now run your WAM server. Just click it. Now just wait for it to turn green. Now open your Visual Studio and create new project and don't forget to choose .NET Framework 4 and choose Windows Form application and name it uh, let's say MySQL Tutorial and click OK Now wait for it. Wait for it to turn this to ready. And here it is ready. Now resize it a bit. And go to project. Uh, click add references. And switch it to .NET. Click the wait for it. until it is full now click the component name to sort it out for fast searching now search for mysql dot data okay and here it is okay choose the version 4.0 and just click ok Now wait for a while. It won't take much and it's finished. Now click view and then uh, server explorer. Here you will find it. Now just open it and wait a while. Let me delete it. Now just right click and click add connection. And you have to select MySQL database and the .NET framework data provider for MySQL and click always use this selection. Okay. And hit OK. And set the server name to localhost, the username to root, password to nothing and 
let us create a database quickly. Open your browser again and search localhost php myadmin. Wait for a while. Make sure your warm service is running and just click and just write MySQL test and click create and on the database name choose the oh wait write write MySQL test okay my school test and click test connection and you will see that it has been succeeded okay that's the good news for us now just click OK and there we have it we can now add tables from here we can now code from here it makes life a lot of easier so now in the second part I will show you how to manage this and I will show you an example program okay so thanks guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next part